Hello, welcome to this presentation which discusses and demonstrates how to use Oracle Enterprise Manager 13.4 Cloud Control to create a Kubernetes cluster with static IP nodes. The presentation titled About Kubernetes as a Service for Oracle Private Clouded Customer provides much useful background information regarding features supporting Kubernetes as a service. This and other related presentations discussing Kubernetes as a service have been developed for the Oracle Private Cloud at Customer subscription customers. These presentations also apply to self-service users of Oracle Enterprise Manager with the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. With the release of Oracle Private Cloud Appliance 2.43 controller software, and with Oracle Enterprise Manager 13.4 Update 6, with the VT or Virtualization and SI or Systems Infrastructure plugins, customers can easily create and manage Kubernetes clusters. The static IP option is one of two offered by Oracle Enterprise Manager to create a Kubernetes cluster. This option is best suited when the data center network accessing the cluster is configured to use static IP addresses and DNS. The Kubernetes cluster is created in a tenant group that is assigned to the customer user as an Oracle Enterprise Manager zone. So the customer user must be assigned the zone in the user's self-service portal quota allocation. The static IP network type option creates a cluster with three control plane nodes and at least one worker node. You can increase the number of worker nodes as you need. Also, you set the number of CPUs and amount of memory for control plane and for worker nodes. The limits of these values are defined by the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance controller software and enforced by Oracle Enterprise Manager. Static IP addresses are required for the load balancer and all nodes when creating the cluster. The IP addresses are provided through a network profile, which has been created by an administrator and is assigned to the user making the request. The Kubernetes implementation in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance uses Virtual Routing Redundancy Protocol, or VRRP, to support the floating IP address for the cluster load balancer. If you have multiple clusters on the same network, especially with multiple appliances, you must set a unique VRRP identifier for the cluster. Let's take a look at the steps to create a static IP Kubernetes cluster with Oracle Enterprise Manager 13.4 Cloud Control. In this demonstration, I'm logged into the self-service portal as a customer user and currently displaying the Kubernetes cluster management interface. To begin, click Create Kubernetes Cluster. The display now shows the general interface, which appears as the first of four steps. The request name is internal to Oracle Enterprise Manager and provides a way to monitor the job once it begins. Cluster creation can run from 45 minutes to over an hour depending on a number of factors. The destination zone values are going to be those which are allocated to you by the customer administrator. There is only one zone configured for my user on this system, so retain the value. Provide a descriptive cluster name. I input the name all uppercase LVC dash uppercase K lowercase UBE dash uppercase S lowercase TATIC. Click Next. The cluster configuration interface appears. Click the magnifying glass next to the network input. A small dialog box with a list of networks appears. For this demonstration, I click the VM Public VLAN network record in the list. Then click Select. The value appears in the network input. For IP assignment type, select Network Profile. With this IP assignment type, a number of new inputs appear. For Network Profile Name, Provide the name of the network profile that has the IP addresses that have been created for Kubernetes clusters. Network profiles assigned to you are available for selection. 
I select the only network profile available for this user, which is KS8 Cluster NW Profile. The Network Profile for Load Balancer input also offers the network profiles assigned to you. I select the KS8 Cluster NW Profile. The Virtual Routing Redundancy Protocol, or VRRP value, is optional. However, if your data center uses VRRP, be sure to provide a value that prevents collisions on the network. Also, the value must be unique among other Oracle Private Cloud appliances on the network. Be sure to get or verify this value with your appliance administrator. For this demonstration, input 244. For control plane node settings, I select 16,384 megabytes, about 16 gigabytes, and for CPUs, I select 4. Recall that three control plane nodes are created and will be created with these settings. For worker node settings, select the number of worker nodes. For this demonstration, I enter two. I select 8192 megabytes memory and two CPUs per worker node. Click Next. The schedule interface appears, and there are two schedule settings in the interface. We keep the default start date and end date settings, which means the cluster will be created immediately and run as long as we choose. Click Next. The review interface appears. When satisfied, the configuration and schedule are correct. Click Finish. The cluster interface appears with a confirmation message. Dismiss the message by clicking the small x. I created another Kubernetes cluster just before I created this one and waited until the clusters had completed the configuration process before refreshing the screen. The cluster state shows that the cluster is available immediately on creation. Click the cluster link on the list, which includes the LVC cube static name, to see details about the cluster. Here, there are the list of control plane nodes, worker nodes, and node pools, as well as a list of the most recent requests. Click back to return to the Kubernetes cluster interface of the self-service portal. In this presentation, we discussed details about the static IP Kubernetes cluster and followed the brief discussion with a demonstration of the features to create the cluster. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.